Hi everyone, I am Aksa Zafar and welcome back to MLTool. Here I share practical tutorials on AI, machine learning and tools that make your tech journey easier. If you love learning step by step with real examples, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss a new video. Now let's get started. In this video, we will start by understanding what Cloud Code is. I will explain it in simple words so you know exactly what Cloud Code can do for you. Then I will walk you through how Cloud Code actually works. This will give you a clear picture of what's happening when you use it. After that, we will look at the different things Cloud Code can help you with. You will see how it can make coding easier and faster. We will also talk about what Cloud Code cannot do. Knowing the limits is just as important as knowing the strength. And finally, I will share some real world use cases where Cloud Code is most useful. This will help you figure out how you can integrate Cloud Code in your own work. So let's begin with the big question. What is Cloud Code? Cloud Code simply means that Cloud Code can read and write code. You tell it what you want in plain English and it gives you code in return. This makes programming less stressful, especially if you are just starting out. It was created by Anthropic. The idea was to make coding more natural. Instead of memorizing everything, you can just explain what you need in words and Claude will try to turn that into code. Think of Claude code like a coding buddy. It doesn't replace you, but it's there to help you with tasks like writing functions, refactoring code, or explaining things you don't understand. The best part is, it's not limited to just one language. It works with Python, JavaScript, SQL, and many others. So no matter what field you are in, you will find it useful. Now let's understand how does Claude code actually work. Claude code doesn't run or test your code. It's not a compiler or interpreter. It works by predicting what the right code should look like. It learned by looking at lots of examples of code and technical documents. That's how it knows what common patterns in programming look like. When it writes code, it's not running it in the background. It's simply guessing the next best line of code based on what it has seen before. So it only gives you code as text. You will have to test it and check for compiler or interpreter issues. So what can you actually do with plot code? Quite a lot. You can tell it something like write a python program to print the first 10 even numbers and it will give you the function. That saves you time and effort. Alright, let's look at a quick demo for this case. I will open the terminal and ask Claude code write a python program to print the first 10 even numbers. Let's give it a moment to generate the code. Great, the code is ready now. It's suggesting that I save it in a file. So I will allow that because I want to test it. The code has been saved as eventnumbers.py. Let's run this file and check the output. And there we go. The output looks good. It correctly prints the first 10 event numbers. If you don't understand some code, you can paste it in and ask Claude to explain. It will go through it line by line, which makes learning easier. I will show a demo with a function that returns the factorial of a number in Python. Now I will open Claude and ask it to explain the code inside factorial.py. Let's give it a moment to write out the explanation step by step. Here is the walkthrough. It goes line by line and explains what's happening. This comes in handy when you are trying to understand existing code or working on a project that's new to you. You can also use it when your code is not working. Just share the code and Claude will point out mistakes or suggest fixes. Here we have a function find max that is supposed to return the largest number in a list. But there is a bug. If all numbers are negative, it ends up returning zero instead of the correct result. Let's open Claude and ask it to look at this. I will give it the prompt to find the bug in findmax.py. Let's wait a moment for the response. And here it is. It spots the failing cases and also suggests a fix for the function. It can take a program written in one language like Python and rewrite it in another like JavaScript. That's handy if you work with different tools. Here we have a function that calculates the factorial of a number. I will start Claude and ask it to convert this into JavaScript.
let's give it a moment to respond and here it is the same function written in javascript that returns the factorial of a number if your code looks messy plot can clean it up and make it more readable it can also suggest ways to make it run better we have a function that picks out the positive numbers from a list now i will ask claude to refactor this function let's give it the prompt and wait for the response And here we go, the function is refactored and it even added comments for clarity. Now let's see the limitations of Claude code. Claude only writes code, it doesn't run it. You need to test everything yourself in your own setup. Sometimes the code it writes look right but doesn't actually work or it may work but not in the best way. That's why you always need to check it. It can't reach into your computer, your database or an API. If your project needs those, you will have to handle that part yourself. This is important. Claude is only a helper. You are still responsible for checking and making sure the code works correctly. Now let's understand the best use cases for Claude code. It's great when you want to test out an idea quickly. You can create small scripts in minutes without writing everything from scratch. Things like setting up templates or writing the same type of function again and again can get boring. Claude can handle those for you. You can also ask Claude to add comments or write documentation. That makes your code easier to understand later. If you are learning to code, Claude can explain concepts in a simple way. Teachers can also use it to show examples quickly. And if you are working with old code, Claude can help clean it up. It will suggest cleaner and more modern versions. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. First, we talked about what Claude code is. Then we saw how Claude code actually works. We looked at the different things Claude code can do. We also went over its limitations. And finally, we explored the best use cases where Claude code really helps. In the next video, we will learn how to install Claude code on your system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to MLTube for more AI and machine learning tutorials.